for the finish tonight. We see some intensity coming from the crowd here. Time to take a look at our Saturday selection brought to you by Chevrolet. You've heard from our football guys all the time, but this is, this is about the entertainment portion. We are pleased to welcome Eric Church, country music superstar here. But first pick, the easy one for you. Does Eric Church win Entertainer of the Year at the CMAs? I hope so. That's what I'm voting for. All right, let's, let's start with you know, what you vote for in football. We're going to start yeah. with North Carolina. Eric's yeah. a guy from North Carolina. Des, Des, you get first swing at it. Big Ten ACC here. Illinois or Carolina? I think Carolina. I think Larry Fedora's group get, get it done today. I like Carolina by about 10 points. I'm a Tar Heel, so for me, I think it's I think it's a must-win game for Coach Fedora. I mean, they let one go at South Carolina, so I think they got to win today. So I think they get it done. Coach Fedora has won five straight home openers, make it six. North Carolina. I, I'm with you guys. I, I think Marquise Williams makes plays. I think the athletic ability that they have, there's an advantage. Illinois showed a little bit of life after right. letting their yeah. coach yeah. go. Yeah. But I like Carolina at home. Yeah. That comes up top of the hour on ESPN too. If you like your football players with a little extra slice of academia, how about Northwestern and Nittany <laughs> Wildcat trying to sweep the big academic schools after having already beaten Stanford? I know I was surprised at the uh, Stanford game that they played Stanford as hard as they did, but I think that Duke is going to win this game. I got Duke. Yes. I just told you I was told you I was a Tar Heel. My, yeah. I, I hate Duke. So my, my mouth, my yes, mouth cannot say Duke and win together. They That's won't right. Win. So uh, right. Northwestern. Please. Not so fast. That's right. <laughs> a man and I picked Northwestern because they've won five straight in Durham. Make it six. There you go. Okay. All right. You're just killing them with the numbers. I'm, with I, I'm with you guys. I, I like oh. Northwestern. Wow. I, I, oh, hey, 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 you're on Island. I'm <laughs> go with Northwestern. Uh, I've learned enough. He likes it. Like, yeah, he yeah. likes it on an island. Okay, Big Ten game. Turmoil at Rutgers. Rutgers now goes on the road to Penn State. I like Penn State to win this game. Yeah, Rutgers, it's just too much, too many distractions up there right now. I like Rutgers. I like, I like Penn State big by 17 points. They got to protect the quarterback at Penn State, but I, I like Penn State too. It's been a, it's been a sack fest up there, but they, they got to protect him. They will, I think. I go Penn State, there's a good pick. <laughs> You're saying blow them out. I, I just don't know if their offense is capable of blowing anybody out yet. They really need to start clicking on offense before they get ready for conference play. I, I like Penn State because they're at home, but I, you know, I, don't, I don't know about blowing anybody out right now. Yeah, Kyle Flood, of course, in trouble with the administration there at Rutgers, a tenuous situation. Cal and Texas. Texas, a touchdown dog at home, first time in the non-conference since 1996. The sturdy Golden Bears too much on offense for them? Yeah, too much Jared Goff. Uh, they're going to lose by 14 points at home. Ooh. Wow. I played him in Lassen. I don't buy. I don't buy yeah. into all the. I don't buy into all the turmoil talk that they have at Texas because of the AD. I feel like the kids in the locker room, they know their position coach and their coach. But I still think. I still think that, that Cal wins this game. I think they're they're one of the surprise teams in the, in the, in the pack, and uh, they'll they'll win this one. You are very impressive. Most, oh, most, hey. most informative guest pick. by far. Improved yeah. <laughs> <laughs> defense. Went by Cal. By that time, improved defense. I, I think Cal is going to score too many points. Yeah. I think Jared Goff is going to spread it around, and they're going to outscore Texas. I just don't think Texas right now offensively can stay yeah. with a team like Cal. SEC West showdown on the Bayou. Auburn and LSU. By the way, Carl Lawson, the standout defensive end for the Tigers, is doubtful for that game. I don't, I don't think they really like either team, but who wins at Auburn or LSU? <laughs> I got LSU. I think Leonard Fournette in the running game will take over, and that's going to open up the passing game. Brandon Harris is going to hit some deep passes late, so I like LSU. Yeah, I, I like LSU, too. I think, I think Auburn's still... Um... I think Auburn's still trying to find their way at quarterback at Jackson. I, I think that um, that's going to get better, but um, I, I still think LSU get the ball to Fournette as many times as he can. Yeah. LSU defense, defense, defense. They win by a field goal. Yeah, I think Jeremy Johnson throwing the ball into coverage. Johnson, sir. And I, and I really think Brandon Harris throwing on early downs could yeah. be a key in this game to open up the running lanes for Leonard Fournette. I like LSU at all. Florida and Kentucky, 28 straight times. The Gators have beaten the Wildcats. Does that end? We talked about revenge games. This is a revenge game for the Wildcats. They will handle their business. They will beat the Florida Gators today. Yeah, three decades worth of exactly. Yeah. 100%. I think Coach Stoops, what he's got going on up there is incredible. I think this is a statement game for him, and I think they make that statement tonight against Florida. 
upset, uh, uh, upset. Uh, upset. The longest losing streak in the history of, I mean, the nation right now is over. Kentucky upsets uh, Florida. Kentucky, Kentucky, Kentucky. 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 Ah, I, picked, I, I picked Kentucky last week in, in Columbia, and I do think coming back home, I think Patrick Tolles against a great Gator defense will be the matchup to watch. But I'm looking forward to seeing Kelvin uh, Taylor after the episode this week and how he plays. He'll get his opportunities. Poor old battered and bruised. You're going Dame. Florida. You are okay. You know what? No, I'm saying Dame. old battered and bruised <laughs> Notre Dame taking on Georgia Tech at one time a two and a half point dog. But here comes the late money on the Irish. Now it's pretty much even. Here come the Irish when they beat the Jackets. <laughs> no, sir. I got the Yellow Jackets. I think the running game is going to be too much for Notre Dame. The four quarters, that that triple option is going to be too much. I got the Yellow Jackets. Yeah, I think I think the wing tee, the triple option is too hard to prepare for. And even though. Um, Notre Dame, they play Navy every year. They have problems with Navy every year. And I think this is this is the same thing. And um, I think the difference with Georgia Tech this year is their defense, I think, balances out the offense. They've got a great front seven. And um, I, I like Georgia Tech. I think they're the best team in the, in the, in the Coastal. And I think they'll win the ACC. So You're, Georgia mesmerizing. Tech's team. You're mesmerizing. He's right. killing Georgia Tech. Tech. I, mean, I don't have time for anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Forget about celebrities. Hey, come on, hurry up. A celebrity picker. We just need to bring him on as an analyst. <laughs> I'm with you. I like I like Georgia Tech all year. This is gonna be a tough game because Notre Dame's gonna come out swinging. But I like I like Yellow Jackets. Yeah. I'll go tempo for you right now. What about Nebraska and Miami? Canes. Too much Brad Kaya. Yeah. Nebraska. I think they, I think Riley's gotta have a win. They'll win today. Miami in the heat. That's go. why they win the ball. Miami in the heat. I'm there with you. Go. Brad Kaya. I like I like Miami. I'm alone. Yes, yes you are. <laughs> you you don't you're. Reputation says you don't really mind. Nah, I don't care. How about Stanford <laughs> in the Pac-12? Oh, man. You know, um, I went with Stanford early. I'm going to keep riding with Stanford right now. So I have Stanford taking care of USC in the Pac-12. I got Stanford. Sticking with them. Close one. Close yeah. one. I'm going to go with USC. I, I think um, Stanford's, Stanford's a better team than their first week against Northwestern. With, with I, hope, I hope so. But they, they are. But, I, but I, think, I think this week USC gets it done at home. I forgot, not so fast on the last one. You had a great album. <laughs> Chief, huh? Yeah, Chief. That's a great album, boy. Yeah. I think. Who do you USC. Have? USC. Yeah. And it's another Stanford SC game that goes into that fourth quarter. SC and Cody Kessler. I think that'll be the difference in the game. I like SC. Stanford and USC coming up on ABC at 8 o'clock Eastern time. BYU and UCLA. I think that Josh Rosen will struggle early. He's going to grow up in front of our eyes today. I like UCLA in the close one. I think Rosen's a, the, the, maybe the most underrated quarterback or undiscovered quarterback out there. I, I like USC, too. But UCLA, too. Give uh, me back my hometown. That's your song, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, you're good. I tell you what, UCLA. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm tr- I write against things. You never let me get a chance. Like it's, it's not just Rosen. Uh, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> UCLA's, UCLA's defense. I mean, uh, Tom Bradley gets some, gets some boys ready to go. Yeah, I, th- I think they like Talladega back there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they like Talladega. Like they like Talladega. Against Ole Miss, nine. And one in payback games. Ole Miss trying to beat the Tide two in a row for the first time ever. And somebody tonight stakes claim to the title of division favorite in the early going. I think anytime you beat uh, someone that's uh, been considered the gold standard in our conference for, for years, you know, it's validation that you're on the right track. I'm competitive. I hate losing, so there's no, no question in the back of my mind. We competed with them these last couple of years, and now having a chance to beat them is really showing. We elevated our game as a program. I mean, you don't forget those kind of losses, but you know, for us, it's a new team, it's a new identity. Oh, they're gonna come guns blazing, ready to play, fired up. You know, it's a night game in Tuscaloosa. The environment's on you wide. And they're gonna feed out their crowd energy. And it's just gonna be a fun one. It is going to be a great one. Kirk is going to call it with Chris Fowler tonight on ESPN, 9:15 Eastern Time, 8:15 here. So you get first swing. Alabama or Ole Miss? I think Alabama. I think it's going to be too much King and Drake. And the running game is going to set the tone. They're going to possess the ball, keep all this offense off the field. I have Alabama in a close one. Yeah, I think I think two best teams in the West are Ole Miss and Alabama. It's, it's, it's a printer game tonight. Um, I, I think anywhere else, anywhere else, um, Ole Miss wins this game. I think tonight, because of revenge, yeah. Alabama wins this game. Wow. Okay, Terrific. Listen, and it was in this game last year for the first time ever, somebody ripped off my headgear. <laughs> 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 
Miss? Hey, Lee, I almost wore that. He <laughs> <laughs> picked Ole Miss, and I picked Alabama, and I was wrong. Yeah, well, I'll tell you. Hey, yeah. Eric, hand me that guitar here. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. <laughs> Get you over here. Yeah? Looking good. Get your hand I'm going to play a little song that Katie and the Ole Miss fans would love. Ready? Ready.